Hi, I'm Ed China and this is the Delex DK1500 Bio Wood Chipper. Think of it as a normal wood chipper, but much more capable because it can also handle all of that green waste that would normally get tangled up in a conventional wood chipper. Now, starting at this end with this great big hopper, the machine can handle wood of diameters up to 10 or even 12 centimeters, depending on the hardness. But crucially, it can also handle new green waste and also things like palm fronds, bamboo, willow, that kind of stuff. Now the rotor has the usual two blades spinning around in this case at about two and a half thousand RPM and those are the ones that do the initial chipping. But crucially, and the reason this machine can handle that stuff that would normally get tangled up, it actually has some secondary blades that rattle around and actually chop down those particles even smaller. Now normally that would be no bigger than maybe two or three centimeters, but actually there's also a grid system that can be added in a number of different sizes that can reduce those particles down as small as basically sawdust. So it's a very useful way to be able to change what's coming out of the machine. Now the exit chute, of course, is totally adjustable as well. Now all of the plate steel is made from Swedish steel, so it's high quality and very reliable. But as you can see, this machine is deliberately built very robustly, very, very agriculturally. It actually weighs about 430 kilograms. And the idea is that you would use this on a farm particularly, you can move it around with forklift chines or of course on the back of your tractor. And to that end, you can see this can either be ordered with either category one or category two three point linkages. Now one other point that's very useful when it comes to lack of maintenance is the fact that rather than belts and pulleys, we have this zero maintenance gearbox. Right, let's get inside. Now with all of the panels off, we can now see inside the machine. And perhaps the first thing you notice is all of the hydraulic system. Now that's provided by Caproni Hydraulics. And that means that not only do all the parts fit together very nicely, but also if you need a spare, you only have to go to one supplier. Now you can probably see that the PTO drives around the actual rotor itself. But on the other side, there's a pulley which goes down from a belt onto the hydraulic pump. That's a 20 cc pump but it's actually pumping a motor that's 315 cc's, which means there's a huge mechanical advantage to drag all that waste material into the cutter. Now, following the hydraulics round, you can see there is a hydraulics oil filter for that lovely shell lubricant, but also just going into that is the reservoir. That's a 25 litre reservoir, and it's right at the bottom of the machine to make sure the center of gravity is as low as possible. But the reason it's such a big tank is to make sure that that oil stays nice and cool, lower than 70 degrees, even on the hottest or hardest working days. Now, if we look down the chute, first of all, you see the grid I was mentioning earlier, which helps change the size of those chips. If I move that out of the way, I can actually spin this around. You can see the cutting rotor. But what's great about this design, there are lots of windows on this machine, so you can get access for maintenance and for service work. So you can see there's a little window on the back here for setting the blade depth. When you come around the side, here's another little window here, another one here, another one on the other side. So you get really, really good access to get in to clean out any bits and pieces and to do some work. But it might still not be that easy to see what's going on there, so I've got one on the bench. Now with the rotor now on the bench, it's much easier to see exactly what's going on. Now, first of all, you'll notice these two conventional looking blades, but actually they're made of a really, really hard material called K300 from Berla. And the idea is that they're so hard, they last much longer before they show any signs of blunting or dulling. So the way they work is rather like a pair of scissors. So you can imagine you've got your fixed blade deep in the machine, and then these are spinning around at high speed. So as the bits of wood go in here, they actually get sort of sliced, snipped by these scissors. And the idea is that they take slightly smaller cuts, but many more of them every minute. So you actually get a much better chip size. But also something else worth noting is that these blades, although they look parallel with the disc, they're not actually quite there. So if I hold this square up there, you can see there's an angle and it's actually two degrees. And that two degrees is very important for the most efficient cut. So if you now imagine you've got your bit of wood going in, being chopped up. Now, depending on how fast you're feeding it, of course, depends on what these chips are going to look. They could be quite long, it could be quite short. And that's where the second blades are all important and really come into their action. So they're supposed to be loose, they sort of fly around, and these veins here are causing a vortex, so moving all the chips all over the place. And as they're still stuck in there, there's a grid that actually blocks their exit out through the chute. That means that they stay being chopped up smaller and smaller until they fit through the grid and out through the chute. So that's how you get control of exactly what size 
those chips are going to be. So this bit is very important and makes this a very unique way of doing things. Now with all these blades spinning around, we want to think about safety, and there's a number of safety features on this machine. Now the first is this bar here. So during running, should you push on this bar, it operates a micro switch which turns off the machine. Now it's also worth noting that when you want to store this, if you just pop that up like that, it obviously stops anything going into the machine, which makes it inherently safe anyway. But actually, you can hinge it here as well. You can lift it up to a vertical position. And when that happens, another switch is operated, and that actually stops the machine from working again. So another reason to be safe. And there's a final safety thing, which basically stops you from stalling the machine, overfeeding the machine. And that's called the no stress. Now you can see in between the PTO and the actual drum itself, or the rotor that's spinning around, there is this little rubber coupling. Now that gets rid of some of the stress, but attached to it, there's a little tiny pin, and you can see that's going next to a sensor. Now that sensor is how the no stress operates. And what that does is actually, when it senses that the engine is beginning to stall, it actually stops this power feeder from working, and that stops the material being pushed into the blade, giving the blade time to speed back up again, and off it goes. Now you can control that from this controller here. So you can see, I'll pop it down into its normal position. You can see you've got the green button that turns the machine on and off, and the red button actually reverses the feed on the hydraulics. So that way you can actually get your material back out of the machine. Now this small button in the middle, that's what actually controls the stall speed of the no stress. So if you wind it to the left, it goes down to about 1200 RPM. If you go up to the right, it goes up to about 2200 RPM. And basically that's how you can control at what point the no stress is going to be activated. So if you've got a really big chunky bit of wood that's going to take a bit of going, then you might go down to the lower end. And if you're a bit more worried about it, you might go up to the higher end. So the Dell X1500 is a great and capable machine, but the best thing about Dell X designing and building their own machines in-house is that if you ever need to, you can pick up the phone and talk to the very engineer who designed it or put it together. And beyond that, they have all the parts on the shelf always available. So if you ever have an issue, you know you have the confidence that Dell X will solve it very quickly.